Hello, my name is Grian, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the custom paintings that I used in a previous video on the beds. People ask me how did I do this, and it's actually very, very simple. All you have to do is get an empty map and set it in a preferably flat world. Although you could do this in survival if you wanted to spend a lot of time. And as you can see, it's completely green because of the grass. And it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is find the corner and that can be easier said than done because it is not entirely accurate. But you can roughly find where the corner is just by placing some wool down anywhere that you like. And as you can see, they appear on the map itself. So once you've found that one corner, you need to select it with Weld Edit or if you don't have Weld Edit, unfortunately place all of them by hand and set the entire floor to be pink wool. And this is of course how you do it for the pink painting but you could do this for any color and as you can see as I've done the command forward slash forward slash set wool and then followed by the data value it has made the entire map pink and this is basically all we need now we can actually go to the bed or whatever it is you want to decorate with this custom painting and I'm going to quickly make a bed here using item frames and some signs very similar design to the ones from the bedroom video and it is very simple you right click the item frame with your custom map and it fills it in I'm surprised some people didn't know this because I thought this was a very very old trick in fact it is an old trick I just think that people forget about these sorts of things and how we can use them creatively and of course this isn't the only way you can use it I just I'm showing this because a lot of people were asking about a previous video. You can actually go back to where you set off your lovely little pink map and you can do a lot more than you think. So for example you could make a little sign and write something here. As long as you're facing north you can make sure that it is orientated correctly although you can rotate them if you need to. So I'm just going to write something on here and it can be like a little SOS message or whatever you want and you can use these paintings in a, a vast variety of ways. Obviously I just showed you how to colour it in but if you have a bit of creativity then you can do pretty much anything. Like I have just written the word hello here and you can see that on the map pretty easily and you could write an entire message or like you know a short paragraph but we can take this one step further so here we have something that's gone way beyond just making a single color this is the portrait of a villager family now this was actually not made by me but a guy called QB who's been a good friend on the Wincraft build team for a long time and in the same situation you just take an empty map right click and there you have it a custom painting now it's a little bit more complicated and you don't have to worry about the Y axis too much. You could have things floating because it is at the end of the day all on a 2D painting. You really don't have to worry about that kind of thing and you can see how the colors match up and slightly change in the actual picture because you know it's a little bit different actually. I don't know what it is but for some reason the colors on the painting don't always match what is there in reality and as you can see a lot of effort went into this. And the idea is, is you have something like this off map built so that you can create a map much like this one and hang it up in a house as a decoration. So similarly you take an item frame and just put it in there and as long as you have made the pixel art, uh, you know, convincing enough, it looks like it's actually hanging. Obviously that green mark will go away. But as you can see, it looks fantastic and you could have some of these in the house just as an atmospheric point. And you know, the opportunities for use are pretty limitless. You could probably come up with some more creative uses than I have. This is just a very simple portrait that I've seen used before. However, you could do pretty much anything to decorate with your walls. You could make a gigantic mural, just have one wall covered in this gigantic pixel art for a very custom detailed effect. But the downfall with that is it takes an inordinate amount of time. And one thing I also need to mention is that you need to make sure 
that your painting is in line with the chunks. So maps work a little bit funky. When you right click them, it doesn't take your location into consideration. It just loads the few chunks that you're in. So it means that you could load up a map and be in one corner of it instead of the middle. So you need to make sure when you do make one of these that you load the map first and then make it into the map, if that makes sense. Instead of making something, loading the map, realize you've only got half of it in the map and then having to move it or redo it altogether. Nevertheless, it's a really cool concept and that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video I, and I hope it's cleared some things up or maybe given you some inspiration. If you decide to use this, please tweet me some pictures. I love seeing your work. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.